Hello everyone, I am DJ Mustang. Today we are going to solve a hacked box machine. The machine name is Swagshaw. It's a Linux box. Difficulty is easy and the IP address is uh, 10 10 10 140. So let's start. First we'll start with the nmap. It's nmap. For that we're going to use a uh, still scan switch that is ss sv is for service version capital o is for os version detection and capital a is for aggressive scan so it's and the ip address is 10 10 10 140 so it will take some time we have a saved output i can see two tcp ports are open 22 and 80 so uh, since we don't have a password or the ssh key so we'll keep this port number 22 aside and we'll go with the port number 80 i can see the patch http d 2.4.18 is a web server uh, running on the port number 80 we'll quickly check in the browser that is 10 10 10 140 and it's redirecting to uh, swag, uh, swagshop.htb domain. So we'll quickly add this domain to the etc host file. So for that, uh, we'll go into use a uh, nano editor. and we'll quickly add our host ip that is 140 and the domain name is swagshop.htp we'll quickly save and exit and we'll refresh this page so i can uh, see magento uh, application is hosted on this uh, port number 80 or the hosted on this server Apache server and uh, I can see it's a kind of a e-commerce website and uh, I can buy this product quantity I can change the quantity and add it to my cart and it's a e-commerce website first we'll check on the inside the uh, search exploit repository where there is there any exploit available for the uh, magento application so for that so just apply it and uh, magento so uh, there are some exploits available and I can see e-commerce local file in disclosure and uh, remote code execution uh, exploit is available so we'll quickly copy this exploit in our home directory so I have copied this exploit in my uh, home directory it's available over here so we'll quickly uh, check uh, what modification we have to do to run this exploit so for that i'm going to use a nano editor you can use a vi editor or leaf pad and other editors are also available first of all i can see there are many lines which are not properly commented so we'll first do this thing I guess it's done okay now we'll check the exploit what is what is this first of all I guess we have to change the target that is a uh, swag swag shop dot HTTP and index dot php then uh, 
and that will redirect to the admin folder over there it will do some uh, it's kind of a sql injection i can say insert data i can see the sql query it will perform some sql operation and then uh, over here we have to provide the username and pos password i mean whatever the username and password will provide according to that uh, the expert will create a account for us so we'll give a name that is dj as a user and mustang as a password we'll quickly change over here also so there will be no confusion Now we'll run this exploit that is python 37977.py worked. So we have to check on this path with this credentials. So we'll quickly go over here and uh, it's admin. Okay. Now we have to use this credentials dj as a password and the mustang is the um, dj is the username and mustang is password okay so basically we are now the admin of this uh, magento application there are many ways uh, from where you can uh, uh, make a remote code execution in this application like uploading a shell then calling that shell uh, from that path so uh, there is one more easiest way this exploit is available so we'll you will going to use this exploit okay so uh, we have copied this exploit in our uh, home directory and the exploit name is 37811.py we'll quickly check this uh, exploit also i mean what uh, changes we have to done in order to uh, run this exploit so first of all we have to provide the uh, username and password the username we know and the password also we know that is D W J A Y, and the password is Mustang. Then next, what is this PHP function system? Note only one. Okay, at a time we can uh, pass only one argument. Uh, that's okay. Then the third one. This needs to be exact date from the. Okay, so they have mentioned some path. Uh, where we'll get the uh, install date of uh, magento application so we'll quickly go to this path and we'll check what is the installation date install date of this particular application okay we'll go here and uh, okay so i can see the date is wednesday 8 may uh 2019 and 723.09 is the time we'll quickly copy this thing entire thing and simply paste it in the exploit that will be the easiest way i guess Okay. Next, what is this? It's payload, and then okay. I don't think so. There, there is any changes required. So we'll quickly save this exploit and we'll run this exploit. Python three seven 
811.py now they are uh, saying that uh, the usage the usage is basically we have to mention the target the target is http dot swag shop dot http slash index dot php and admin so once this exploit get the uh, admin screen then this uh, particular exploit will insert the username and id so that's the reason we have mentioned whole path over here and not just domain then argument will going to use so for the argument we have we can pass only one argument let's suppose we'll you're going to use this one only uh uname minus a we'll check whether it is working or not okay so the remote code execution is working uh, over here so we'll we'll take the reverse shell over here for that again there are multiple ways to take a reverse shell like uploading a file then changing the uh, uh, permissions or the changing the rights of that particular file then you have to call that file so doing all this stuff will go with the easy one will directly uh, upload a reverse shell bash reverse bash shell reverse shells github okay so we're going to use a bash shell that will be the easiest one the first one this one I'm going to use this the same argument we're going to use sorry uh, not the argument same uh, syntax we'll use and the argument will be um, bash c c as in command and uh, we're going to use a single quotes and inside the single quotes we're going to paste this one liner shell and over here we have to mention the local ip address that is 10 10 14.17 the local machine ip address and the 4242 uh, we can take any uh, port and we're going to start the listener over here have executed the script okay we got the shell so who am i it's a www data it's a normal user so um, first of all we'll get the uh, user uh, flag so user flag is available sorry cd home then harris and user flag is available we can uh, read this user flag because we have a permission to read this file now uh, we have to escalate our privileges to get the root flag so in order to escalate the privileges there are multiple scripts are available on the github like lean is there leninum is the PSPY is there. so many automated scripts are available so before that uh, always try with the uh, sudo l command so it will show you the list of the privileges of current user if it is not working then we can always have an option to run the automated script so first we'll go with the 
sudo minus l the least of the privileges i can see uh, there is no password for vi editor inside the var html file html folder so we're going to use this uh, vi editor inside the this particular folder and we'll try to escalate the privileges so for that, uh, I have found a really great script written by the GTO of Bain. So just type GTF open VI script. Maybe. So it's available and uh, it is really very, very easy script. You just have to copy this thing. And just paste it over here. So what this uh, sudo L is saying that uh, sudo user bin and vi binary uh, doesn't need the password to execute inside this folder the folder is where www then uh, html and uh, we can say dj just a file name not a big deal and our code so this code will be written inside the dj file with the vi editor that's a basic so we'll press enter that particular code will write inside the file just uh, okay so we are out of the view editor just say who am i root root so now we are root we can go inside the root and we can read the root.txt file So we have uh, successfully exploited the uh, misconfiguration of VI editor and we have uh, successfully exploited uh, the Magento application with the exploit DB exploits. So thank you so much for watching and have a nice day.